Natasia, we'll check back in with you in just a bit, but let's go ahead and get on to our top stories today. New Mexico state officials holding their first media briefing today, five days after a deadly shooting in Albuquerque involving four University of New Mexico students and New Mexico state basketball player Mike Peake. We remember that Peak was lured to campus by the four UNM students where Peak and Brandon Travis got into an altercation shooting at each other. Travis was killed and Peak is still hospitalized. For more from New Mexico State's press conference, here's sports director Colin Deaver. Stephanie, NMSU Chancellor Dan Arvisu, Athletic Director Mario Mocha and Dean of Students Ann Goodman spoke for almost 70 minutes today on a wide range of issues regarding the case. NMSU officials say Peak is still enrolled at the school and on the Aggie basketball team. NMSU is currently en route to Las Vegas for a tournament that starts on Friday. Mario Mocha said that every athlete and coach would be on the trip other than the hospitalized Peak. Those on the trip include players that NMSU also says broke curfew Friday night. NMSU said some of them had already been punished, but wouldn't say to what degree or if they'll serve any kind of suspension once the team is in Las Vegas. As we've reported, Saturday shooting stemmed from a fight at the October 15th UNM NMSU game that involved peak other NMSU and UTEP athletes and UNM student Brandon Travis, uh, who wanted revenge on peak for the fight. NMSU says it was aware of the involvement of peak and other student athletes five or six days after it happened, and those athletes were disciplined. Athletics. Uh, was aware of an altercation with him and some other individuals at the uh, October 15th football game between New Mexico State and the University of New Mexico, and discipline measures uh, were taken at that time after the event. This should never happen anywhere, let alone on a university campus and let alone between university students. Um, it is extremely um, uh, unfortunate, disappointing, and frustrating in a lot of different ways. Now, NMSU says bed checks were done at 11.45 Friday night. Coaches were in the lobby from midnight till 2 a.m., but of course, players were still out and about. No, uh, Greg Heyer is, is still the head basketball coach uh, at New Mexico State. According to Mocha, they would not say if there had been any internal punishment for Coach Heyer or any other coaches. Again, as I said, the team is leaving for Vegas tonight. Elsewhere, one of the two people arrested in this case so far, Jonathan Smith, was released until trial today in Albuquerque. He will be living in Plano, Texas with his mother. He's been charged with multiple felonies, including aggravated battery and conspiracy. A 17 year old girl also involved in the case was charged Sunday with aggravated battery and conspiracy. More from NMSU's press conference at six on KTSM. Steph.